He's actually met a woman who's going to be a saint one day, Mother Teresa. It's already been. She's been, become, yeah, she's she's been become, beatified? Yeah, she is, yeah. She's been beatified? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you she's met Mother saint, Teresa? Yeah, yeah. Monica, do we have that picture? Okay, you met the other man who is probably was the last of the living saints. Monica, where's that picture? Hey, oh, look at that. There you go. Look at that. With Madiba. <laughs> oh. Well, what, do, you, do you remember what year that was? 2007 or 2007. Eight, seven, About yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great man. Great man. And, and Mother Teresa came to your house? Four times. Four times. What was she like? It was, that's the girl. Who brought her? She brought, yeah. Your because daughter? That my daughter, and that's why the connection became. And she came on her own, no invitation. Because your daughter was doing some charity work? And she was working. In the, in the slums? The slums, yeah, yeah, yeah. To build that home. People lined up, free of charge. You want, I say, I want 25 masons, there are 50 in the line. I want 10 plumbers, there are 40 in the line. They're just wanting to do something for her. Unbelievable. Unbel unbelievable. That woman is just something, yeah. Do you feel blessed by, by having met all these people? Do you, do you feel a sense of... Well, I think that those are the people I, f I, feel I, I feel blessed because to me, those are the people who are great. great. People who change the world? Absolutely. Do you feel you, you've changed this place? Well, it, at least these people change our lives if you believe in them and their simplicity. They will, their support, their help, their f thinking is here. It's not here, it's here. <laughs> the foundations that you built, there's one here at University of Nairobi. Yes, there's, right. a, there's a University of Nairobi uh, Performing Arts, Chandaria Center of Performing Arts. Okay. Beautiful theater. Yeah. Yeah. Strathmore. Not Strathmore, USIU. Chandaria School of Business. Chandaria School of Business. One of, the, one of the students works with us on radio. His name is Teddy Eugene. Yeah. He told me to say hello to you. Okay. He's benefited from that. Okay. Uh, Kenyatta. KU. Chandaria Innovation Center. Nairobi Hospital. Chandaria Accident and Emergency yes. Center. Yes. Uh, Gertrude. Chandaria Medical Center. Then uh, uh, I think at uh, Moi Referral Hospital. Chandaria Cancer. Center. Those are billions and billions of shillings, Manu. Absolutely. I mean, goodness. The point is, it's just to help. If there is availability, why not? You think if we had like three or four more of you who each had five suits and, and, and that <laughs> attitude, you, you, you think this place would be a, a there, better there, there might be people who might have only five suits. But then they are, they are they're called what? Gujarati, they're called Kanjus. <laughs> uh, what they call Maisa. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously, if there was like four or five more of you, you think this would be a, bit, a different place? Yeah, no, the point, you know, anybody who extends the hands yeah. of help changes the world. Yeah. 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 And, and how come we can't learn that? How come we can't, I mean, it sounds very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet... No, no I, th I think that in our education, we need to really push that push that ideology to them they, that is not the idea to them there should be what can I do for the country I have a responsibility I'm a Kenyan what can I do for my country unless and until that a attitude and idea is really driven in my head yeah. all the time and before doing anything bad wrong ask myself Hey, is this beneficial? Hmm. That's a, again a rotary principle. Yes. But I met, I met uh, what's it called uh, Microsoft. Yeah, Bill Gates. Bill, Bill Gates. Yep. And Melinda. I met uh, Melinda. Met uh, also Warren Buffett. Uh, you know, and one one evening on, on the Forbes, uh, I met almost five of the top givers in the world simple they all have their own uh, they might somebody might like racing cars 
somebody likes something else. Yeah. But otherwise, but that for me is not on. This watch is already 65 year old. <laughs> no. <coughs> yeah, when I got married, I, I, they gave me 60, 64 year old. This watch? This watch. <laughs> Manu. It, it does the work. Manu. Hmm? <laughs> Look, okay, you just mentioned Bill Gates and, uh, and, and Warren Buffett. Yeah. Uh, and, and the rest of the guys, right? Yeah. And, and you know, you said some of them like the nicer things in life. Yeah, nice. They, they do. They do have. But at the end of the day, their aim is to, if they're doing anything and you need, there's somebody say, hey, come on, I need help. They'll go. Yeah. But why do you deny yourself one or two things? No, I'm not denying. I'm just saying that there's no need for it. If there, if I need, I'll do it. But not there's no need for me. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just as simple. I could have ten watches. Yeah. But I don't. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It does the work. It's it's okay. It doesn't look odd. <laughs> <laughs> and now the, these are also going out. Everything is here. Yeah. It's on your phone. The technology that's coming and changing the world, oh wow. And I think that uh, now they're talking about design thinking. Yeah. Artificial intelligence. Uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. My granddaughter is now in Stanford. Stanford. This daughter, her daughter did double uh, uh, masters in Columbia. And this one is now at Stanford. The other one, which is at home right now, mm -hmm. is also going in August to Stanford. And you're getting a great Pre grandchild yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. Great huh? child, yeah. Are you excited about that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But as I said, too, too late. <laughs> it's never too late. Yeah, yeah. Well, Pretty, too late. Not Pretty, come up here. Let's let's talk to your daughter a little bit. Let's. Your your, yeah. she, your heart and soul. This is your. That's my heart and soul. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wonderful to be with you. Where do you live? In Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah. And what was this man like growing up? What you just, I mean, is he that simple? Is he He's my hero. <laughs> He's your hero? Absolutely. Really? Mm -hmm. Was he a tough dad growing up? Not at all. Easy. He sent me away to boarding school when I was 11. When you were 11? <clears throat> Why? Because I was a handful. No, 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 no. no. We were at that time in Tanzania, and there was no good school availability. So, so you sent it to Kenya? No, no, to Cheltenham. London. London. Cheltenham at 11 years school. old? Yes. Cheltenham. Good Lord. Did you ever forgive him for that? How can I not forgive him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were talking about Mother Teresa coming to your house, and it was because of you, right? Well, yes, kind of, in the sense that I worked with her, yes. What was she like? She was just... Wonderful, a real role model. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see shades of her in him? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. What keeps him going? He's ninety years old. What keeps him going? He gets I up in the morning, and he does a little dance, <laughs> and that's how his day starts. He has a smile on his face. Yeah. Doesn't matter the aches and the pains, but you don't see it. He's got a positive attitude to life. Yeah. What is it that I'm going to do today that will help someone? Uh, have you ever seen him angry? Rarely. Yeah. Yeah. None of us have. I mean, we, we never do. Manu. Come live with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need five suits. Yeah. Five suits. <laughs> but look, uh, this is the disagreement we have. He looks at me at times and says, darling, I think this is new. <laughs> How much did it set you back? <laughs> How many kids could it have schooled for a year? Yeah. Yeah. How many meals could you have given? Mm. But I like to find a balance. Obviously, I would love to be like him, yeah. but I'm not yet there. But she sits on this softcore board. Yes, I, I do a lot of um, philanthropic work, but yeah. I'm not... Uh, um, Almost a guru, yeah, like... What, what he says, don't you spoil yourself? Yeah. Yes, exactly, <laughs> I do. <laughs> She's making up for what you don't do. Yeah, absolutely, right? absolutely, absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Many times I look at it, I say, 
Yeah, but that jacket certainly ten kids would have gone to school. <laughs> Come on, <yeah. laughs> and I have to agree. Yes. Sure. Okay. So Preeti just asked me to come live with you guys. Will you adopt me then? Or she, she just come, said, come live come, with me. Come. I told you a number of times, you know, go to Geneva, go to her home. Please do. Uh, be Karibu. Care, be careful what you wish. Karibu. <laughs> Monica, are we looking at tweets or what are we doing? One, two tweets? All right. Let's, let's take a quick look at the tweets here. And then now. <laughs> Kirimi Kelvin says, what's Manu's take on destiny killers who loot public money every day, messing Kenya's future. You want me to say that? Yeah, real quick. I mean, we talked oh, about these okay. people looting. Look, look, I, I think that just, I think, forgive them, but let's start from, let's start our slate new now. Yeah. We don't want to do it now. It's not, it's not going to stop for a while, uh, Manu. Okay. Tweet says there's a negative undertone when talking about China involvement in Africa, and some say they are trying to replace the West in the continent, and that will not benefit Africans. What does Manu Chandaria think? Invasion of China, for lack of a better word. Well, I think that every other country who can help Kenya to build, let them be help us. But they cannot take away things which we can do ourselves. Let us do ourselves what we can do. Yeah. And let's not. And, and I tell them very nicely, please help us to build. I, I would not say no to anything. Yeah. As long as the person is prepared to help, let them help. Let them help. But not at the cost of our children's sitting at home. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have a problem with Chinese and all their infrastructure development and all that. No, beautiful. I think it's very wonderful. At least once the country opens up. Yeah. I think that we've got... And we, w we won't be indebted to them for the next three, four generations? Well, we will be indebted. That's pretty, we will pretty be indebted. Indebted. We will be indebted. Yeah. Of course we're indebted. We'll be, yeah, absolutely. But if we work hard, we can pay it off. If we work hard and don't steal. <laughs> Gom get it. You say, uh, Manu Chandari, if you were the president of Kenya today, which sector would you look at first and focus on? One sector. Health and education. Part of the big four? Right? Part of big four. Yeah. Part of big Universal four. Universal healthcare? Part four. Big four. Nice. Lloyd Mutua Mutua, you say, Jeff, ask Manu Chandari what motivates him to help the needy. I'm a Rotaractor, and the Rotary has taught us to give back to the community always. Ask him if he is a Rotarian. If not, we welcome him to join Rotary International. <laughs> uh, you are I, too I'm, late. You already are. I'm a member <laughs> since 1963. Is that the badge there? Is that Rotary or what That's is that? Right. This is five times uh, over. <laughs> so, um, what prompts you? What gives you that thing uh, to well, give? Well, the point is that as long as I see the pain, I should feel hurt empathy empathy yeah empathy. he has that yes he has that yeah. absolutely figure mania figure figure mine you say one thing that i have learned from manu chandaria and the others like him is the aspect of being a philanthropist giving is receiving absolutely sms's John Moretta Membley is a Dr. Chandari is the man who should have been nominated CS for trade or industry. He is a leader by, by God's standards. If we have 10 men like him, Kenya could be home and dry. I actually said five, but you know, we'll take 10. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Meshak Onguti, you say Manu Chandari is a man of integrity and exemplary character. I've always depended on him for sound advice and how to add to the society, how to do things right and the benef to benefit all. He has a great heart, and so is his wife. Yeah, she's great, huh? Lovely. He is a true charitable man. Many Kenyans should emulate him. Do you know then, Dr. Meshak Mahuti? Yes, 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 I know him. Uh, and I think that, uh, and he does a clip operations, you know, this. Yeah, yeah, cleft. Yeah. Cleft clef 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, well done, doctor. Is that it? All right. Manu, I know it's your bedtime. Eh? I've kept you up really late today, haven't I? For a 90-year-old no, man. No, that's okay. Huh? Okay. Pretty. I don't. I don't go to sleep until about eleven thirty. So is that true? Yes. He goes to sleep late. And he wakes up at five thirty. 
Six hours. Right, six hours. Enough. Really? Enough. Yeah. <laughs> enough, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Anything Why? when you can earmark is enough. Yeah. Then you got enough to give. With this help, with this, uh, whichever way, yeah. with the advice, with the help, holding hands, looking out somebody, everything is available. The minute you feel, I have enough. If you could redo one thing in your life, if you could do it all over again, what would it be? I, I'll, I'll still be, I would like to serve much better than what I've served my lifetime. If I had to do it again, from the day one, I'll be serving. For, for years together, I did not serve. I served myself and my family and building and everything. Yeah. But from the day one, I'd say, I wish I could serve more than I can. Yeah. Yeah. David Rudisha, you know him? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. calling me live on TV. Yeah. I don't know why. Should I just pick up and find out? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, sure, sure, sure. A champion. <laughs> oh, he just he just disconnected us. As I said, yeah, he yeah. must have realized that we yeah, are alive. Because yeah. <laughs> he, he got the he, he was in the Olympics. Yes. Yeah, I saw him that. Uh, How do you know him? I know because I I asked him that come on, I give you a track, this amount of money, you build a track, track. in that area. Rudisha. Rudisha. Okay, maybe he's just yeah. By yes, it's so. But is Did, and you built his track? Four years now it's gone. Uh, Olympics will be now coming in. Yes. Now, <laughs> now already passed one hour. But it couldn't do, you not been able to get the land. And yeah. You know, the land is a huge, huge problem. Absolutely. Ah, yeah. No, no, no. But he's a great champion though. Great oui, champion. Great champion. Great champion. He, came on, he came to the office a number of times. He's willing to do everything, but his hands are, he said, if people don't give me the land title, I said, without land title, I don't want to do anything. You get the land title, I promise you. You'll build the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rudisha, I hope you're listening. Get the land title, Manu will build your track. Absolutely. Okay. Final thoughts. Yeah. There's many, many people listening to you, watching you, a lot of them for the first time. Give us some final thoughts. I, I think that the younger people in this, in our Kenya, has got all the possibilities of building this country all the possibilities. Yeah. Many times when I was young, I didn't have that opportunity. But now there is the possibility. And I think that if they can all build and believe my, this is my country, this is my continent, then I think we'll find the solution. And I think that the younger people must strive hard work integrity that is the basis fundamental to every success you don't have that you go up here yep, fall down so this many years of work is even today there's a meeting at seven o'clock at Serena Manu will be quarter there. to seven Manu will be there you have an amazing dad, you know that? That I do. And thank you. I'm blessed. Yes, you are. And thank you for helping us raise that money for flying doctors with uh, Dr. Eunice uh, Moringo. Absolutely. 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 It was great. Absolutely. It was because absolutely. of you that we raised, I think, four or five million shillings. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, I was dead in the water. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Manu Chandari and his daughter, pretty, right? That's right. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Hope you learned something tonight from this incredible, incredible Kenyan and African. The gift of giving, folks, just keeps on giving. I think John F. Kennedy said it best when he said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. That's exactly what Manu Chandaria has been doing for the last nine decades, 90 years old this year. How about that? What a show, what a guest. Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., join me and Jalango. That's right, Jalango. 